So here's the esophageal squamous mucosa. You see four layers. The top layer is parakeratosis. At least some of those nuclei look histologically intact. Right beneath that is a layer of dead squamous cells, a mummified layer, if you will. And then under it is perhaps the most dramatic part of it. There's a cleft with perhaps some cells floating in it. And finally, an intact basal cell layer with slight basal cell hyperplasia. I know you do have a diagnosis. So four layers, the parakeratotic layer, the dead or the mummified layer, the third layer is the cleft, and the fourth layer is a basal cell layer. It's pretty obvious, isn't it, the diagnosis? There are a few neutrophils in and around that cleft. And you know what this diagnosis is, isn't it? You got it, esophagitis, desic and superficialis, or sloughing esophagitis. On the left side, you see those four layers, but on the right side, you don't. But what you do see is that two-toned appearance, two distinct colors, one up and one down. It's important to note that not every case will show all of those classic features. And in some cases, you'll see prominent parakeratosis but you may not see that mummified layer or that mummified layer can be very subtle and you may not see that cleft as well. So watch for that two-toned look to the esophageal squamous mucosa. That is a very helpful sign in instances where the changes are subtle.